Okay guys, we're entering out into the world of Haran for the first time. And as we're just looking at all the corners here. And I think we're ready to go. Going outside, yeah? Yep. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. So obviously, uh, on PC it looks better, but this is PS4, so... I don't expect it to look like PC, but it does look pretty good. Whoa. Searching for stuff. that like man it sucks okay so how did I get past you last time I think I just went on the street all right guys here we go Take this path last time. Oh, okay. This makes it a lot easier. I went through the bottom last time, like down there. I didn't really look around here last time. Man, you all are armed. Pretty beast. I feel like I'm gonna be playing this game a lot. When I'm offline and stuff like that, I'm gonna be playing I this. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. <laughs> Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Ah, uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both Antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? So I, I was just thinking during that cutscene, I think it's a good idea to keep two saves. Sent most of his best people to protect this. Raheem, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you for a while, which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. 
He's got the first real job for you. I think it's a good idea to keep two saves because, um... Because of friends and stuff like that wanting to invite me. Looks kind of weird, huh? Look at it. Look at it. It's not actually on the ground. It's kind of floating. Y'all see it? Weird. Hey Spike, I'm Crane. <sighs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Oh, you can hold it. I didn't know that. This is something new. <laughs> I was just like kind of just pressing it last time. Search. Looting is the key to survival. Search dead bodies, chests, abandoned cars pieces of furniture and even trash bins to find crafting components, weapons, and money. Hold X to use your survivor sense to identify objects you can loot. Search the environment for huge locked chests left by other survivors. They're usually placed on rooftops beyond the reach of zombies and contain weapons or other valuable things. Okay. Here we go. I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. So you have an unskilled uh, point here. You have skill points to spend. Select one of the skill trees to spend your points. Survivor rank. The survivor rank gives you access to supporting abilities, blueprints, and gadgets. To increase survivor rank, complete quests, help other survivors, and participate in challenges. The higher your rank, the better the equipment offered by shops. Survival starter kit. Requires level 2. Learn how to craft the most basic things needed for survival. Lockpicks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars, and Molotov cocktails. The agility tree allows you to outrun your opponents. To increase your agility level, perform climbs, jumps, or other free running moves and use skills from the agility tree. The power tree allows you to face your opponents directly. 
To increase your power level, engage in combat, kill your opponents creatively, and use skills from the power tree. A few parts, so there's only one we can get, and it's from the survivor part. Okay. So that's all we have for right now. We can create more lockpicks. Let's try to avoid contact. That's what I would do in real life. I have to fight him, I fight him. Watch this. He's gonna fall, isn't he? I wanna fall down. Come on. It's funny. We wanna watch you. The millions are watching. Yeah, right. I only have like two people watching. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work out. We can really catch up from here. Shit. A lot of zombies. How are we gonna get across? Gotta throw firecrackers. Oh look, that's the that's actually where we need to go. Is there like an easy way down? We'll just run through them. I think we can make it. Let's do it. Oh shit! I'm gonna go on this side. First thing. Yeah, I would search this building, but I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Oh, wrong button. Get your damn head. Sit down. Sit down! I take a lot of hits right now, but I think that's because of the upgrade system. We probably need to get stronger. Nice. It doesn't sound very good. Oh man, I think it's too late for this guy. Shit. Alright. Finish it. Hello. Push the wrong button. Okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Okay, now hurry. Right. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place this safe is, at night. Why is his meat jiggling? Yeah, that's jiggling. Safe zone unlocked. That's cool. I like that there's safe zone. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, almost. Just give me a second. Journal. Your stash. Uh, we don't got nothing in storage right now. 